I'd like to start off by noticing that as each speaker gets up here, the speaker, this speaker then goes ahead and answers, and his supporters get to go ahead and applaud. I would like to start off by applauding the people that had the courage to stand up against this hate. You're certainly welcome to applaud anybody you like. I take no responsibility for who applauds for what. Well, you haven't given them space. That, that was my point. Um, but I do, have, I do have questions here. <laughs> what, I, what I was saying is, is the structure here has been very specifically designed to go ahead and to support a particular point of view. I, uh, could you give an example of that? Because here's what I think happens. People come up and ask me a question, and then I give them an answer, and then somebody else comes up and asks me a question, and then I give them a, a different answer. Is, could you please show me the nefarious and unfair structure of that Q&A? I, I, I'll, I'll be happy to, because after their last comment, you get a chance to comment, and your supporters go ahead and applaud. When the, when the speaker is then going ahead and when the... When the person from the audience is talking, you immediately talk afterwards and there's no oh, space. Yes, that's true because they're asking me a question exactly. because I'm the speaker and exactly. they're the ones asking the questions. Ex exactly. Right. So, so I guess they can go give a speech somewhere else and then their, their supporters can go and applaud them. Th but that's not what we're engaged uh, in here. So, so the, you do agree then that there was... That I agree that I'm giving a speech unperformed. and people are asking me questions. I agree with that, yes. I didn't, I didn't know that I had to clarify um, that. Um, so, so let me go ahead and, uh, frankly, there's so much mis misinformation here, I don't even know where to start, but I will try. You talk about melting pots and assimilation. I don't know to what extent you cook in the kitchen and you don't cook, I have no idea. Well, I'm of Italian descent, so I can work my way around the kitchen a little bit. Th th if that's the case, then you will know that a melting pot is not something that you take a pot, you put the first ingredient in, and you add other things and you expect everything else to go ahead and take on the flavor of that first ingredient. Rather, a melting pot is a, is a mixture of different ingredients. And some of those ingredients you want to blend in and other ingredients you want them to maintain their character and you don't want them to blend in very much and you put them in in a particular order. And you, you talk about what makes America. There's plenty of things in this country that are, a, that are a huge problem, and there's plenty of things in this country that are very good. One of the best things about this country is, is that as each culture comes in, we're able to go ahead and look at that culture and take on the best things from that culture. This, uh, uh, America is not a English only culture. We have taken on from all, all different cultures, and it's, it's the strength of this country that we have gone ahead and taken on. It's the strength of this country that you can't look at, at people and tell which ones are Americans and which ones are not. Well, that's what I said in my speech. Um, that, that's not a, that, that's, that's literally that's not what a, I said in my speech. What, what, what you said is you expect them to assimilate. Right, I expect assimilation, and I said it's a beautiful thing in this country that you can't look at someone and tell who's the American and who isn't. But, I, but, I said but, the but, exact but, same but, line but, that you but, just said. But, but you seem to imply that when people come in... Well, you they, know what they say happens when you assume. Yeah, is there a question or is this a speech? Yes, yes there is. What's a, the question? Okay, so the, so the question is, is do you realize <laughs> that 100 years ago, you, you, you mentioned that Previously, people have come in and then they immediately assimilate. A hundred years ago, there were areas in New York City where you couldn't function if you couldn't speak Yiddish, if you couldn't speak German, if you couldn't speak a Slavic language. 130 years ago, in Kansas, the, uh, in a very large area in Kansas, German was such a predominant language that the Native Americans assumed that the language in this country was German, not English. We've never that would had, be a true tragedy. We, we've, we've never had a situation where people come in and they immediately start but speaking. But I, I never claimed that people immediately assimilate. I never claimed that in my speech. I think you're making fine points. They're just not points that in any way contradict what I've been saying this afternoon. I'd like to ask just one more question, then I'll, I'll, I'll leave. Um, in the past when uh, the young Americans have had speakers here, you, you mentioned that each person gets one question, and you've been very accommodating about letting many of us have a conversation. But in, in the past, there's never been that kind of a, uh, of a statement. And I'm just wondering why there would be a statement here. It sounds like you're afraid of having a conversation. Though I will admit that you have been 
carrying on a, on a, on a conversation. And um, I just, I just want, in closing, I just want to say that what's really important is that we embrace other ideas and other cultures, not that we assume or, or force people to go ahead and take on what's already there. Well, I appreciate your comments. I would like to point out that uh, it seems you have uh, criticized me for saying things I didn't say. I agree with many of the points that you've made. And then you're criticizing uh, other speakers who have spoken for Young Americans Foundation instead of me. So I'm pleased that you had a nice time at the lecture. I agree with many of your points. And I, uh, I love the open exchange of ideas. I heard you, sir. <laughs>